Yo, what's going on everyone? It's Logan from Calling Our Shop back with some more MLB picks on this Wednesday, July 1st. Guys, it's the first of the month. Let's get after it today. Let's start this month off right. If you, this is your first video, my name's Logan. I do the MLB picks daily on this side of the channel. And right now, we are sitting at 70, 80 subs. Can we get to 7,100 by the end of the day? It's only 20 subs away. Absolutely. Why not? But we can't do it without you mashing that subscribe button. So go ahead and subscribe if you already aren't. You know we're trying to grow this page to the moon. We're trying to get to 10,000 subs. That is our ultimate goal. Austin and I can't do it without you guys. And we can't do it without you. COS All-Stars, all of these people all over the screen are our current COS All-Stars. If you're interested in joining just like these real MVPs, either click the join button next to our channel name or the first link in the description below. Let's recap yesterday. You know, not a great, not a great night. Again, you know, it, it's just tough. It, it's really tough sometimes when you get these breaks. Atlanta first five though, cash that one. What the heck? Atlanta put the twenty piece on. Yeah, I mean, we just had them first five, but wow, no sweat bet. We love that. Boston money money line. That was a, a no sweat bet as well. Good job, Red Sox. I can count on them to do what they do. Toronto run line. Oof, that one. That was a dagger right through the heart. I mean. They, they, they were leading. That was a really back and forth game, high scoring game. And then it went to extras and they actually ended up losing out right in extras. But that one's tough. I, you know, I still liked what I saw from the Blue Jays. Just gave up way too many runs. Angels first five. What the heck? That was the, that was the one I had trouble. The, the last two losses I had trouble sleeping on. This was definitely one of them. Oh gosh. Otani just absolutely melted down in the first five. And, you know, made any Angels better look like they were dead in the water. They actually came up, came out and won the, won the game outright. If you would have told me they would have been losing like that through the first five, I would have said no chance they, they would have been able to come back from that. But they did come back because the Yankees stink. That's what they do. And Urania strikeout total under. Oh, Urania, you won the bat, you won the battle, but I'll win the war. I'll, I'll be back next time. He had a really good game and just. Hats off to him, whatever, you know, it, it happens sometimes. We lost some units there, but that's no problem because it's the new month and we get after today. Where are we starting? With a team I already mentioned, Mariners versus Blue Jays. I'm taking Blue Jays run line, minus 105 odds. I like the value on this one again. And the Blue Jays, you know, they're not going to drop back-to-back games at home versus the Mariners, right? Right? No. Ryu's on the mound, uh, four, one, and three earned runs in each of his last three. I don't love the four, but the one, the one is is encouraging. And he's, you know, he's been up and down this year. I'm not even gonna lie, but he has had a lot of really good games. Whenever I pick against Ryu, he always makes me look like a clown. So I'm picking Ryu today. Kikuchi's on the mound for Seattle, one, one, and zero earned runs in each of his last three. He's been too good. No, I'm just gonna call it. You know, I, I called Peterson's performance yesterday. Uh, you know, too good. And what did he do? Five earned runs. Yeah, I'm going to call a bad Kikuchi game. He's been, you know, just too good. You know, th th this happens, especially with Toronto's bats. Second in runs, second in hits. Yeah, I mean, they're going to get to him today, especially in that ballpark. Man, any, any line drive looks like it's going to be a home run, right? Seattle by comparison, 24th in runs, 30th in hits. Again, you know, major offensive edge to uh, Toronto. I know Seattle, what they did last night. I mean, and you're looking at that and you're like, wow, you know, can, can they duplicate that performance? I don't think so. And that's what, again, I, I think Ryu gets the job done today. That's why I'm riding Blue Jays run line. Again, they've been a really profitable team for us. If they drop two in a row, then I might have to do what we did with the Astros and say, whoa, that's not working anymore. But right now it is working. And speaking of working, Royals versus Red Sox, Red Sox run line minus 118. They are working right now as well. Boston, third in runs and, and third in hits. Great offensive team. KC, not a great offensive team. 20th in runs, ninth in hits. And who we got on the mound today? Well, it's my boy Bubich. You know, I you know, I don't pick Bubich just, just to say his name. Although it is fun to say, right? Bubich, five, six, and three earned runs in each of his last three starts. The five and the six are, 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 are abysmal. And the Red Sox will feast on Bubich today. I have no doubt about that in my mind. Eovaldi's on the mound for, for Boston, one, three, and zero earned runs in each of his last three starts. If Eovaldi can go up and give us a one or zero earned run type game, this is going to be a really great bet to make. That's I'm, I'm feeling really good about it. And let's just say, again, for argument's sake, that Bubich has the best game of his life. You know, the Kansas City's bullpen is still 20th in bullpen ERA. They are still liable to give up some runs. And this is a Fenway Day game, right? I love Fenway Day games. I, I don't know why. It's just it's just one of those things. In my in my head, the Red Sox play a lot better 
in, in those early slot Fenway games. So I'm going to lock him in, and I'm not going to really think twice about that one. Moving on to our next pick, Padres versus Reds. I'm taking first five total over, run, over four and a half runs, minus 128 odds. Yeah, I mean, I, I like this one pretty much because of, of the pitching and the hitting, right? The pitchers, Castillo, 0-2-0 earned runs in each of his last three starts. Again, he's been too good. Sometimes you gotta you gotta look at the trends and you gotta say, are they due for a bad game? Yeah, I mean Castillo, he his his ERA is way higher than what he's been putting out recently. Is he getting better? Sure, maybe. But again, San Diego is eleventh in runs, fifteenth in hits. They can certainly rough him up, and I think they do. Right? This this total you know wouldn't be what it is if they didn't think there was gonna be some runs. And Weathers is on the mound for for San Diego, three, four, and zero run runs. In each of his last three starts, again, so you've got Castillo, who, who's probably liable for some more runs. He's not going to go and put up a zero and run type game. I hope not, right? And Weathers, you know, he's 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 liable for some runs as well. And Cincinnati's bats have been really good, especially at home, right? Fifth in runs, fifth in hits. Yes, the top five offensive team Cincinnati is. Again, there's going to be opportunities in this first five uh, to cash this over. Can they turn those base runners into into runs? That's what we're hoping for. We don't need any stranded base runners. That's the, that's the way this doesn't cash. But I really like it, and I like it for the value. So we're going to lock that one in. And moving on to our last pick, Brewers versus Pirates. Yes, I'm taking Brewers run line, minus one and a half, minus 134 odds. I expect the odds on this one to probably go up through the day. So lock it in while you can, right? You know, look look at what the Brewers did yesterday. First of all, you know, that's why a baseball game's never over. I always have some some uh, sappy faces in the Discord, you know, when, in the first few innings when, when their bets aren't going right. But guys, baseball is a really, really long sport. You got you to gotta wait it out. I know a, a team, look, the Angels looked dead in the water. They won outright yesterday. The, the Brewers looked dead in the water. And what the heck did they do? That was, a, that was an amazing uh, performance. And who's on the mound for Pittsburgh today? Crow. We're going to eat crow today, right? Four, two, and two earned runs in each of his last three starts. Not a great pitcher. I'm not even going to lie. Last time these two teams faced, though, he went five innings pitched, two earned runs, which is a pretty solid outing, but they still lost five to two. So even with a decent crow game, they still lost. And who's on the mound for Milwaukee? Burns. Burns, one, four, and three earned runs in each of his last three starts. Last time these two teams played, four innings pitched, three earned runs, but the Brewers won seven to four. So we've already seen the, t the different scenarios that can happen in, in this matchup, right? We've seen a good Crow game, and they still and the and the Brewers still won. We've seen a, a not so great Burns game, and the Brewers still won. I'm just saying, I I really like the Brewers in this one. Off, you know, offensively, the Brewers are not that inspiring, but you gotta ride some hot hot bats while it, while they have them, right? They're 18th in runs, 29th in hits on the year. You know, that that doesn't always tell the full story. I always pull up those offensive numbers because, you know, I kind of want to give you where my thought process is. But sometimes you just got a you know, good old-fashioned eye test, right? And the Brewers, they looked extremely impressive coming down, coming back from a 7 nothing hole. I mean, wow. Pittsburgh, by comparison, 30th and runs, 22nd and hits. The Pirates bats, you know, they can go cold. But don't make me wear an eye patch again tomorrow. No, I'm not wearing any more eye patches. But the Pirates' life is not for me tonight. That's why I'm, I'm picking the Brewers' run line to uh, win and cover. Let's recap the picks, though, one last time for you guys. We've got Blue Jays' run line, Red Sox' run line, Reds' Reds game first five over, and Brewers' run line. Thank you guys so much. Calling our shot, you were the absolute best community. Again, let's start this month off right. Let me know your favorite plays down below in the comments, and let's get after it today.